Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, this video is super fun for me. I'm just going to be playing around with some new makeup that I recently purchased, not looking to do a crazy look or anything, just play with some new products that I was very excited to purchase and let you know my first impressions on them. This one was a really fun one to just sit and play with makeup. I did purchase some items from the new Dior Glow Vibes Spring Collection. And then I also picked up two items from the Chanel Desert Dream Collection. So if you are interested in seeing the products that I picked up as well as seeing me experience them for the first time, then just keep watching. So let me tell you, today's video is a real treat for me. You guys know I spend a lot of money on makeup, but I definitely have a strategic plan of which brands I do spend that makeup on. And for some reason, I just decided that I wanted to play around, mix things up. So I ordered a few things from the new Dior Spring Collection and a couple of items, just two from the Chanel Spring Collection because Chanel is a real, real treat. <laughs> I definitely do purchase Dior more than I purchase Chanel now, but it's very rare that I purchase the seasonal collections from Dior. I typically more so purchase their permanent items or their backstage items especially are my favorite. Their spring collection is called the Glow Vibes collection and it just really caught my eye. The Dior collections have been catching my eye for the past few months, but I've just been prioritizing where my money would go. And the guy that I always purchase my makeup from at Saks, his name is Ferdy, if you're in the DC area. He works at Tyson's Corner and Saks was having a gift card sale. Like if you spent so much, you got a gift card. And so I made an order on just some things that have caught my eye that I normally wouldn't review on my channel. So I'm very excited about this. This was a real treat myself moment. I don't make enough money to make this a regular moment, but definitely I'm treating myself. Here are all of this stuff that I purchased. We're gonna start off with this item from Chanel so that I have a little bit more color to my face. So in today's video, if I say anything wrong, I'm not as well versed on these releases just because they aren't my typical playing ground. I haven't done as much research as maybe I would have liked. So this is like really a true first impressions experimenting with makeup that I don't buy on the regular. So um, the Chanel collection for spring 2020 is called the Desert Dream Collection. And it looks like there's a couple quads, an illuminator, some eye glosses, nail polishes, lipsticks, things like that. Pretty muted colors. I picked up the Golden Light Multi-Use Glow Stick. I saw Michelle Wong using this and it looked beautiful on her, so I just randomly decided that I needed it too. And I really like the cream sticks from Chanel. I have two that I really enjoy. And so this is what this looks like. It looks a little shiny and not... Like, you see, it's... Huh. I don't know. So how do I want to apply this? So it's actually quite light. Very, very subtle and pretty. Let me use a sponge and see how I prefer my application with this. So this is definitely really, really nice for fair skin tones. It's like a dewy kind of thing. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. Is this supposed to be bronzer? Like I said, I didn't do my research as I normally do. It's a multi-use stick, but it's a glow stick. So maybe if you have a deeper complexion, this works as like a highlight or just something to add like a really natural flush to the skin. If I'm using this wrong and I look like an idiot that doesn't know what they're talking about, it's because I am. No, but I feel like this is the best way to use it. But it's definitely, I don't know if you can see, but there is a sheen to it that I wouldn't call unflattering, but it's just not something that I'm used to. I think in the summer though, this would actually be super pretty or a medium skin tones, just like a dew to the skin would be really pretty. Very, very subtle, but I mean, it did add some dimension back to my face. This is probably a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyways. I mean, honestly, it's just like kind of a glowy stick. I feel like on medium to deep skin tones, I'd probably use this to add like a natural glow to the skin when I'm out in the summer. And fair skin tones, I mean, the way that I use it, 
I really don't think it looks bad. I think it looks fine. It's kind of non-traditional because I'm used to having not shine in this area, but it, the finish of it on the skin is super pretty, super natural, super glowy. Kind of like it the way that I use it, but it's definitely not the way I would typically use a product like this, but it's called a multi-use glow stick. So you can use it for whatever you want. If you have this product, how did you use it? I'm curious. Michelle used it like I did, and I thought it looked really good. And in person, it is so like even more natural. I'm actually just gonna put the lip product on because it is a glow oil. So this is from the new collection from Dior, which is called the Glow Vibes Collection. It's inspired by like pop culture. It's a really fun, bright inspiration. And they came out with a whole line of glow oils, just like, I wanna say at least 10. And I picked out the shade Rosewood. I don't have a ton of glow oils. I've never used Dior's especially, and people seem to love it. Whoa, this is so fat but i've seen people like put it on and just wear it and it looks really good and juicy my lips are so small for this <laughs> this is like a thick oil i feel like this has quite a range of colors given how little color is in it because it's a lip oil but this rosewood's really really nice it feels super nourishing so i don't think you need a lot of these from the line but this is something i would put on before i go to work for the day when i'm not really wearing any makeup i really like this this feels nourishing but it's one of those products where you only need one you don't need a lot. I also picked up the Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. Now I got confused because first of all, I love the Backstage collection and I saw these blushes on Sephora and I was really excited about them and I saw that they were at Saks. Well, one of them was, which was this one. This is the 00 Pink one and I believe that this is in their original line and they repackaged it into this it's a really pretty pink color i love a pink blush they also have a coral one but in the spring collection this isn't actually in it there is one that is like called rosy glow but it's like pearl it's 003 this is what i saw online and it looks like it's a shimmery pink blush correct me if i'm wrong but i think i really want that I have it in my basket right now from the dior website i might have to order that i thought i was getting that but i actually ordered this Anyways, that limited edition version of this, which is like shimmery, is in the spring collection. This is not. This is just a backstage collection release. Anyways, I still wanted this though. It's really, really pretty. So we're just going to use that because this is the only blush blush that I have. So, and it's really cute. I like the packaging. I love the Dior backstage line. I always pick up items from their backstage collection, even though I'm not a huge Dior collector. I love their backstage collection. Ooh, this is so pretty. I love a pink blush. If you don't like a pink blush, you're not going to like this. This isn't like a dewy blush or anything. It's just like a flat blush. Really pretty. There's no fallout. There's a really pretty coral color if you're not into pinks. I think I'm going to pick that up from Sephora. I think I went a little bit overboard, but that... <laughs> It's fine. I love blush. Really like this. This is really pretty. This is $37. So, I mean, it might not be worth it for you, but I think this is really pretty. I'm really happy I got this. So, this... Is a hit. So I picked up two highlighters, one from Chanel and one from the Dior Spring Collection. So I'll do the Dior on this side and Chanel on this side. So this is the Luminizer in 001. This is limited edition. It comes in their regular highlighting packaging and here's what she looks like super fancy and luxe. So excited for this. Gosh, I love Dior so much. I love their products. And I think this is going to go super good with this blush. Ooh, so this is more of a pinky highlighter. So if you don't like pink highlighters, you might not like it. It's like a pastel-y pink, which is really pretty for the spring. Maybe not like right now, but this is a spring collection. So duh, Morgan, are you dumb? Ooh, really nice formula. It definitely sinks into the skin very nice. It's really pretty. It's not too beaming and honestly this and this blush are kind of made for each other this just looks like one overall pretty pink flush glowing cheek so there was another luminizer in the collection it just looked a bit too deep for me so i didn't pick that one up i'm glad i picked this one up so this is the rosy vibes luminizer it is limited edition so if you are interested in it i would pick it up if i were you it's very pretty and subtle it's a pink highlighter it's not too pink like it's still wearable we're gonna try the real splurge here. This is like the biggest splurge of this whole video. We have from Chanel. This is from their desert collection. This was 
$70. I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered this, but I'm glad I wasn't thinking. Hopefully, if it's as good. It's just this really fat Chanel compact. Oh my gosh, I feel so bougie right now. I need to treat myself more. So you open it up, you get this, then you open this look at this so chanel so pretty oh my gosh that embossment i don't even want to touch it but it looks like it's not going to be i actually quite a lot of product just picked up on my brush oh i really like that oh my gosh you can really tell the different formulations here so first of all the color of the chanel it's it's a little bit more white so I think I would definitely be a little bit more subtle with it next time that I use it. Because if you use it more sparingly, it really just melts into the skin. It's not as metallic either. It's more sheen with a little bit more pigment to it, which is why I think I'll use a lighter hand next time. And then the Dior, it is more metallic-y. It's more about the shift, whereas the Chanel has more of a base color. So they are two completely different products. I think for every day, the Chanel is going to be absolutely stunning. Just a real treat to have. Okay, so the last two items that we have are from Dior, and they are both of the eyeshadow palettes that came out. I can't believe I purchased both of them, because in reality, only one really, really caught my eye, but I just bought both. They're limited edition. I have a very, very small quint collection from Dior, literally, like, two. <laughs> so I've just doubled my Dior collection and I just want to jump on these, see what I really think because I don't have too much experience with them. Just from what I've collected from Dior shadows so, so far is that, you know, they're not going to be the most pigmented shadows ever. That's not what the purpose of their brand is. That's not what they do as far as their makeup. They create more so washes. So even with the brighter palettes that I have, don't expect to get a bunch of color from them. Now I'm not doing like a full, full review on these, but we are gonna play with them. So the first one that we have, this is Blue Beat. Look at those embossments. Look how stunning and fun that is. This is just pure fun. And then this next one is the one that really caught my eye. This is Pink Vibration. I mean, you guys know how I feel about purples, so it's very clear why I got this one. I have no idea what kind of look I want to do today. So I'm putting on a little bit of MAC Painterly Paint Pot for my base. I'm not going to do a really intricate look today. I just want to play and see what we can do. We're going to start off with this peach color right here from the Pink Vibration Palette. I don't even want to touch these because I'm ruining that embossment. There is a slight sheen to this. So far it's giving me a pretty wash of color. My brushes are kind of dirty, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't clean them. And then I'm gonna take some of the pastel yellow. I mean, this this collection is super duper fun for spring, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very happy I picked this up. This does remind me of the collection that came out last year from Dior. It was like a lollipop collection or a lolly collection. Anyways, I just, that was the first time I really looked at the Dior collections and I've been super interested and I've been holding back. And so this year, I was very excited to pick this one up. So I just used this yellow with a big fluffy brush and I haven't gotten much from it to be honest. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, we're gonna dig into this color right here. I just reviewed my Natasha Denona Love palette today and of course the premise of those eyeshadows are very different from Dior and the Natasha Denona shadows are super pigment packed like instant pigmentation right away whereas that's just not the concept behind the Dior brand so I have to remind myself that this color blended really really beautifully oh my goodness I feel like I look kind of crazy right now just ignore me now from the blue beet palette we're gonna take this pink I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna just put this everywhere. This color is quite frosty. And then we're gonna take this shade right here and I'm gonna use that as my inner corner highlight. I think as far as subtle eyeshadows go, I don't normally use Dior, so I'm not as familiar with their formula. I think I prefer a more of a Tom Ford, Charlotte Tilbury kind of formula because those are other brands where their concept behind eyeshadow is just kind of a wash, which is similar to Dior, but these palettes so far aren't moving me. So we're gonna take this color right here. Oh my gosh, my look right now is so like 90s frosty. Okay, and then we're gonna take this. Oof, wow, that's bright. Wow, the pigmentation on that one in particular. Oh my gosh, this look for spring. <laughs> I look like cotton candy, but in a good way. We all like cotton candy. And I'm gonna go back to this palette right here. We're gonna use this yellow again and I'm gonna 
fill it in right here. This yellow I'm not too big of a fan of. It's not really like working for me. I feel like I need a white base or something underneath. So those were the last two items for this video. So I'm gonna do like my liner and lashes so I don't look as crazy and I'll be back with my final thoughts about my new products that I've tried today. All right, so I'm back. All I did was put on mascara. I definitely look like cotton candy. This is not a normal look for me, but I mean, it's it's fun. This is a fun spring look. It, I had a lot of fun playing with these products. So we're gonna start off with the Chanel glow stick that I have here in Golden Light. I think this is a very interesting product. I really like the finish that this gives on the skin because it is so natural and dewy and skin-like. I don't necessarily know about this color in the way that I used it. I feel like this would be definitely better on somebody with a deeper skin tone, but at the same time, I do like it. I like how it's spread. I enjoyed the finish on the skin. I think it gave me just a little bit of definition that was extremely natural. So I definitely need to continue playing with this. The Dior Backstage Blush in pink. I really, really love it. I love the way that it spread. I've been using a lot of glowy blushes lately. So the fact that this wasn't glowy was a really nice change. It's not too pigmented. It's much more friendly on the cheek. And if you love a really good pink glow, I'm very into this. I am definitely going to pick up other blush colors in this formula. The Lip Glow Oil in Rosewood from Dior, I'm very into. It's a very luxurious product. The packaging is very heavy. It feels wonderful on my lips. I love the way that it looks. I don't see myself purchasing any more of these until I run out of this, but it's the kind of thing where I think I will repurchase this if I ever run out of it because it feels so wonderful on the lips. It's very moisturizing and this is great for this time of year where my lips are super dry, so this is definitely a thumbs up. I'm glad I finally got to try the lip oil formula from Dior. It's super nourishing. Very good product. This might be my favorite product of the video. This is the Dior Rosy Vibes Luminizer. First of all, the pan itself, it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it paired with this blush. I think if you're gonna buy this luminizer, you should buy this blush as well because they truly melt into each other and create the most lushy, glowy look to the skin. It's a beautiful finish. This is a beautiful formula and Dior always has really, really nice highlights. So I'm very happy with this. Next we have the Chanel Illuminator right here. You can't get any more luxurious than this product. I think it is beautiful on the skin. For myself, I applied it with a real hair brush. So it ended up picking up a lot of powder. I think next time I will either use a synthetic brush or just use a lighter hand to really get a super natural glow. Right now in the way that I use it, it does look a little bit too stark for my preference, but I think if I just do a light wash of it, it'll create the most pretty everyday natural glow to the skin. Even though it is quite stark, there's zero texture being emphasized. It's actually quite smoothing for a highlighter. So I think this is going to be great, not only on my cheekbones, but very lightly in all of the areas that I do want a little bit of an extra glow. So I'm very excited about the potential that this product has. $70, it's a lot of money. So I definitely want to use it a few more times just to decide if it is actually worth the money or not but I definitely think it has the potential to be once I find my favorite ways to use it and lastly we have both of the eyeshadows from the new Dior collection and I gotta be honest I'm not completely sold on these while I was off camera by the way I did go in with this deeper color right here because I did need to add some extra definition up there I felt like my eyes were too frosty these are definitely wonderful palettes for spring if you are really into seasonal eyeshadow and really do enjoy these fun pastel colorful kind of looks for the spring I think this might be a really great pickup for you for me personally I mean these aren't colors that I see myself grabbing for a lot I just thought they would be a really fun item to pick up and they are I don't think I found a deep love for these Dior quints that a lot of other people do have I need to play with them some more but so far first impressions not completely impressed I love to look at them. They are so fun to look at. I enjoy having them. I mean, I like this look. I like the cotton candy vibes and I'm sure if they had come out with palettes that were more so in my comfort of color range, I probably would have liked them more, but ah, there was a couple shades in here that did seem a little bit dusty to me, just not something that I would expect from a luxury eyeshadow product. So like I said though, I am new to the Dior shadows, so I definitely want to play with these more, get to know the formula, get to know the brand more, but so far, 
not completely sold on these. I definitely need to give them more chances though. So anyways, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun for me to play with these new items that I picked up that I'm so very excited to have purchased. So if you enjoyed this video, let me know down below. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.